Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd. I think you can almost go without saying that the past two, maybe three months have been quite tumultuous for us nerds in our little pop culture world. We have seen the rise and fall of shows we knew were going to be terrible. We have seen the rise of, well, the indie scene growing stronger and stronger every day. And that's what I want to talk about here today. I'm wondering. I'm posing to you to wonder, to, to think about, where are we right now? <laughs> where are we in this pop culture war? We just finished a two-month-long battle against the Rings of Power, backed by the never-bend-the-knee stalwart Lord of the Rings fan base, who at the beginning of this year, said, hell no, when Amazon tried to force the Rings of Power on everybody. They stood firm, never wavered, and were behind each and every one of us that reported on this nonsense that was the Rings of Power. What else has been going on? She-Hulk, the MCU in general, a mess. I've covered it myself. Other channels are maybe even doing more than I do when they're really MCU heavy. MCU, it's, it's, it's in its death spiral. It's weekend and burning itself around. Star Wars, Disney, Star Wars. What's going on there? I don't know. It's shit. Superhero movies in general. DC, House of the Dragon, Game of Thrones, Resurgent, not Resurgent. What's going on here? I mean, let's take a, again, let's take a close look at everything I've just mentioned. She-Hulk, season two not happening be a waste of so much potential. Season 2 is not happening because it's the worst rated Marvel show since they started this nonsense a couple years ago. Nobody watched it. Jessica Gao has been shooting her mouth off. Tatiana Maslany has been shooting her mouth off. This whole show turned out to be nothing but a project to attack fans, to attack nerds like me, like you, who just want to enjoy what we watch and not be attacked. Kai Young here at Shill Rand is going to go, oh, it's such a waste with all this strange stuff going on in Seahawk. You know, you know, it's not a waste. It's not a waste because this was horrible. Jennifer Walters in the MCU is a terrible character. She's a slut. She's a bitch. She's a see you next Tuesday. She cares about nobody but herself defined as being a narcissist. If it didn't bother her, who cares? Corrupts everything. Has to have the show end her way so she breaks into, broke into our world and ruins the MCU even more by showing it's just a joke. So no, She-Hulk, MCU in general, all the pushing back of movies, the, 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 the controversy surrounding Blade, the fact that nobody seems to care, the fact that they haven't really made money on a single movie in two years. Doctor Strange, the only one that came close. And no, Spider-Man No Way Home does not count because that was a Sony project. Let's continue down the line. The biggest failure ever, Rings of Power. We just brought this article up. Why that big Rings of Power season finale twist didn't work because it was spoiled and everybody knew it. And also the fact that you know your show has failed when everybody's saying they're Team Sauron and they hate Guy Ladriel Warrior Princess. And want to see the Harfoots all burn in Minecraft. This show, billion dollar fan fiction, failure. Jennifer Salky uh, and the team from Bad Reboot all blend, 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 talking about now how they want to, how they're, they're going forward with what they want to do with season two despite fan complaints. They're tone deaf. They're trapped in their little echo chamber. What does this landscape look like? MCU. Dying, dead, weekend of Bernie's, rings of power, complete and utter failure. And to keep it on this track, Wheel of Time Season 2 right around the corner, complete and utter bastardization of Robert Jordan's work. But we're not done here. Disney Star Wars, as I said, Andor. Who's talking about it? I've even stopped reviewing it on a weekly basis. I'm going to come back to it in another, what, four, four or five weeks when it's over to give a cap to it? Because it's pointless. Some of you, yes, rightly so, enjoy my review better than the actual show, and I thank you for that support. But 
more often than anything, I'm just arguing with a bunch of cognitive dissonant former regular Star Wars fans who can't comprehend that all roads in Disney Star Wars lead to the sequel trilogy and Jake Skywalker. And then the stands who keep trying to tell me it's a dumb Star Wars. You're not a real fan. How can you talk bad about it? 20 plus years of book collecting. 30 plus years of being a fan. First generation Star Wars fans. Saw them in the theaters in the original runs. Well, most of them. Don't tell me I'm not a Star Wars fan. And don't call this Star Wars. It's generic sci-fi with a couple of Star Wars Easter eggs sprinkled in there. You can like it, but don't tell me it's Star Wars. And don't tell me I'm not a Star Wars fan. How can I talk bad about this? Disney Star Wars is a disaster. Nobody cares about Andor because it's fan fiction. It's not real. Some say that this is the best thing Disney Star Wars has done. And I did say in my last review, it was a competent episode, but still boring and pointless and not Star Wars. There is no Star Wars in this show. So it's, it's being completely ignored. Just about everybody. Nobody cares. And the ratings show it. We'll get to that in a minute. The Bright Spot, House of the Dragon, Game of Thrones, Resurgent. But, he, but with last week's episode, apparently, a lot of people are now waiting. They have saw a shoe drop with the apparent murder of hundreds, maybe thousands of people by this chick on a dragon in the end of the episode. People are worried. Because right here, House of the Dragon writer Sarah Hess says, Rhaenyra spared Queen Allison from dragon flame because they're both mothers in this terrible world created by men. These are the people behind the scenes working on this show. A lot of people are now saying, oh, is this the first true shoe drop? Let's see if the other one drops. Let's see what happens next. We wonder what's going to happen. People have enjoyed this. Love or hate it. I have, I, I have YouTube co-hosts and friends who have hated this show, yet I watch bigger channels and other who we also and other people I work, I work with now, they like it. And other people like it. it. There's a mixed bag of reactions all over this, but everybody seems to be on the same page that this was a worrying sign. So here we are. Game of Thrones with House of the Dragon had a chance to be resurgent, and they may have already effed it up. We talked about the MCU. We now will talk about the DCEU. Black Adam came out this week. The critics hate it. Audiences seem to like it. But most general reviews from sane-minded people, including my fellow co-host on the roundtable, Dre the Brute Daniels. Check out his channel at Brutal Planet Comics. He liked it. But as with everybody else, he understands it's, it's, just, it's an action movie. It's an action movie. It's not going to change the world. And, but... It's kind of a mid-level movie. The term mid, I believe what the kids say now. I don't know what that is. But it, DCU has a problem. What everybody's really excited about, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill back as Clark Kent Superman. That's what people are excited about. That's what people are really want to see. They want to see Superman in his standalone movie, smiling, giving you a, a salute for truth justice in the American way. DCU, they have a chance, but if they're not careful, it's going to slip by them, and people are going to co stop caring about superhero shows in general. Movies, shows, whatever. It's all the same at this point. TV, streaming, movies, it's all the same, all being consumed in the same way. People are losing interest. This is the landscape of what we have been dealing with, and yes, a few shows pop up here and there on streaming, and I'm going to talk about a few of them in the next couple of months. We got Willow, we got Wednesday, some show called The Peripheral came out. I might look at that. We've got His Dark Materials Season 3, the final season coming out. A few other things here and there. there Wheel of Time Season 2, the, the landscape. But what is this landscape we're looking at? We look at these ratings. The Nielsen ratings that just dropped for last month in, in September. Overall, here's what people watched. People were watching a, a, a documentary, a, a, a drama about a serial killer. Cobra Kai, that was great, but we haven't heard anything about season six yet, despite how much we all love Cobra Kai because Netflix drops it all at once. It flames hot and then it burns out quickly, despite how good it is and how much we love it. 
Rings of Power charted, but being beaten by, hot, by the Hot D, beaten over the head and across the face with the Hot D by Cobra Kai Dahmer, and it's probably going to fall even lower when we get another ratings release next week. This was the third, fourth week of it now, because this was the 22nd. Let me see. This was the 25th to the 20, 21st of the 19th to 25th. Yeah, it had been at, this is during five and six. It was dropping. It's going to keep dropping. But you notice what's going on here. Andor. Got to go over here. Andor didn't make it with its premiere, and it probably lost even more. This is the landscape. Fate the Wing Saga. A young adult turned cartoon, turned cartoon young adult thing again from when I was back in the 90s or early aughts, whenever it was. Live action. That's beating Andor. This stuff. Crap I've never heard of. Beating Andor. What does the landscape look like? This is what it looks like. It looks devastated. People are not excited anymore. All we do is, what's going to be ruined next? What's going to be perverted next? How is this going to disappoint us, even though we've liked it? People don't care. Meh. Okay, but meh. Know what's going on? It's the time of the independent sphere, as I said at the beginning of this video. It is the time. Razor Fist has dubbed this the Iron Age. I, I love it. I love that the independent sphere is rising because all vehicles for production in legacy media, be it in TV, movie, publishing, comics, they're all dinosaurs, they're all dying and dead, and they're all poisoned by the cancerous, woke SJW agenda. The Iron Age, just to go with what Razor Fist said, it, it, it's here, it's now. People are putting stuff out. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm, I'm not ready to put it out yet. I have my own stuff. I have my own series of books I'm starting, a universe I'm starting. I'm just not there yet. I, it's, some of it's done. I just can't put it into production. Can't afford to. Can't start the crowdfund yet. Can't get it done myself. It's a little more expensive here than I want it to be. I just can't do it yet. I wish I could get into the Iron Age at the starting up, but I can't. Guardian of Innocence, book one of the Chronicles of Rosetra. It's here. This is ch chapter one. Click the link below. Read it. I hope you enjoy it. Support this channel. Help it grow. But I'm not the only one. Uh, Razor Fist. Eric July, Young Ripa. He has blown the roof off of everything, showing us that you can do it yourself if you've built your base. Shadowversity. His book. His comic. Although I do have a problem. Shad, if you ever see this or somebody directs it to you, please don't say you're replacing Star Wars with what you want to do with your space opera. Because real Star Wars, it's, all right. it's still alive. Say replacing Disney Star Wars. Don't say replacing Star Wars. Maybe you're not an EU guy. Maybe you need somebody to tell you what that's really going on there. But real Star Wars is alive. Just read the Thrawn trilogy and start reading the rest of the EU, and you'd understand that. But that's not, my gripe is not with Shad making something. My gripe is only, only that saying don't replace Star Wars, Shaz. Shad, we just... Star Wars is still alive and well. Real Star Wars is there. It just needs to be remembered and not ignored. Disney Star Wars, replace the hell out of that all you want. But everybody across our, my fellow co-host on the roundtable, Jed, has his own books. We are all here. Comic Skate, Dre. <laughs> we are all here putting content out. The Iron Age has begun. I hope that I'm not going to get left behind, and I hope I get, I get the window of opportunity soon to get this book, my book to you. And start getting all my books to you that I want to put out. My universe. And build it into a small publishing company. Independent sphere. That's what's on the horizon. People who care about creating fun things. Escapism entertainment. Who will respect their own lore. Because they respect the lore of everything that came before. Modern day science fiction and fantasy that we've known, it's devastated. It's broken. It's fallen apart. Nobody's excited about anything. What we're excited for is our, our own projects and the other projects here in the independent sphere we see. So go out there, support everybody that is trying to bring forth something new, something entertaining, something escapist. Support Eric July. Support Shadowversity. 
support Dre, support Jed, support Comicsgate, support everybody, support Critical Drinker who just got his short film funded in a day and beyond. We're doing it all over the place. Support me. Help my channel grow so that I can bring you my first book and then bring the dozens of stories I want to tell you for many years to come. We're here to entertain you. And we're here because you support us and we thank you for it. Even though I don't know half the people I mentioned, I know they're thankful for your support. I'm thankful for your support. I know Dre, I know Jed, they're thankful for your support. So we'll see you there. And let's all just have some fun and keep up the good fight. Because maybe, just maybe, we can rescue some of what we used to love while building something new. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube, where I hope to earn your trust and support using facts and logic, because facts and logic do not care about whiny fifis. Hit the notification button, share my videos if you like what I'm preaching, and by all means, Leave comments. Love to hear from you real fans, you real normal guys and gals out there. I don't care what the stands or the SJWs have to say because 201, they are cowards behind keyboards, and I can't wait for them to be triggered each and every time. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to get in touch with me, you can reach out to me at therentnerd at gmail.com. That emails for channel business only, so I check it on a daily basis. Also, you can find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas. And you can find me at Rumble and Odyssey, the Renaissance Nerd. Thank you again. See you next time.